the daily stoic july 8th stop monkeying around <laughs> see what they talk about enough of this miserable whining life stop monkeying around why are you troubled what's new here what's so confounding the one responsible take a good look or just the matter itself then look at that there's nothing else to look at and as far as the gods go by now you could try being more straightforward and kind it's the same whether you've examined these things for a hundred years or only three marcus aurelius meditations character joan didion could write in one of her best essays the willingness to accept responsibility for one's own life is the source from which self-respect springs. So self-responsibility is where self-respect comes from. If you don't hold yourself accountable, you're not going to respect self. Marcus is urging us not to waste time complaining about what we haven't got or how things haven't worked out. We have to quit monkeying around and be the owners of our own lives. Character can be developed, and when it is, self-respect will ensue. But that means starting and getting serious about it. Not later, not after certain questions have been answered or distractions dealt with, but now, right now. Taking responsibility is the first step. To be without this character is the worst of all fates. As Didion put it, put it in on self-respect, to live without self-respect is to lie awake some night beyond the reach of warm milk, the phenobarbital, the phenobarbital, and the sleeping hand on the coverlet counting up the sins of commission and omission, the trust betrayed, the promises subtly broken, the gifts irrevocably replaced through sloth and cowardice or carelessness. You're so much better than that. So again, just placing blame outside of oneself. Accountability, responsibility, the cornerstone to self-respect because you're empowering yourself when you say it's your fault. Oh man, it was my fault that I didn't do this. So let me change what I do to be able to fix the outcome. When you monkey around and you uh, delegate that power outside of yourself, you're really weakening yourself. Creating the sloth, the coward, or the careless person. Bye-bye.